young and quick thinking brothers jump into action to save a life. Someone needed help, obviously. When they called me that morning and told me that, that they had found an elderly gentleman that needed help, it wasn't a surprise that they did that because I know that's their heart. Those actions catching the attention of the Billings Police Department. I've never been struck by lightning, yet I am now what they call a survivor. Plus, enough is enough. By her writing that play, she made it seem more real, more personal. With gun violence on the rise in schools, one Billings student puts pen to paper to make a difference. And in the bag. Well, when you control the means of production, you control the quality. One veteran-owned Billings company delivering Montana-made luggage this holiday season. The MTN 530 News starts right now. From Montana's news leader, this is the MTN 530 News. A good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us on this Tuesday. I'm Russ Friesinger. And I'm Andrea Lutz. You've heard about all the recent gun violence involving teenagers in Billings. But tonight, two middle schoolers have the attention of Billings police for a much different reason. In late October, a simple walk to school for brothers Thomas and Aaron Waldo quickly turned into a life-saving mission. Their Good Samaritan actions were recently honored by the Billings Police Department. Our Kelsey Boggs caught up with the brothers and their mom for this amazing story. The boys were walking to school when they heard a man calling for help right here on the side of the road. Without a second thought, they rushed to his aid, ultimately saving his life. While most children are busy making their Christmas lists, a Lego set, mm -hmm. like a car, an RC tank. Two young boys are reflecting on their act of heroism. I'm 11. And I'm 13. Brothers Aaron and Thomas Waldo's lives have forever been changed. It honestly kind of feels good knowing that me and him save somebody's life that day. In late October, the boys were on their way to school when something strange caught their attention. We heard someone yelling help and we kind of hesitated a little bit because we thought we were going to get kind of, it was a trap or something. They quickly realized the severity of the situation. As we got closer, he moved a little bit and it looked like he was a a lot of pain. Their elderly neighbor had slipped on ice while walking his dog and was in desperate need of aid. Billings Public Schools tells us the man broke his femur in two places and couldn't move. He was on the ground for more than an hour before the boys found him. He made us take care of his dog and we put him inside and I grabbed his phone for him and he called someone. When paramedics arrived, they couldn't find a vein because the man was so cold, meaning without the boy's assistance, he might not have survived. One small act of kindness could change your life and somebody else's life. The boys were later recognized for their life-saving act at a school assembly, but their mom, Marika, says she wasn't at all surprised. All of these boys really have a heart of gold and caring and a way to give back to anybody that needs it. The mother of six says the boys often spend their free time volunteering and at a time when crime seems to be peaking in the magic city, Marika finds comfort in knowing her boys are searching for the good. Something that's really been amazing for me is to read the comments on the stories that the school posted and to hear people say, reading this story, I have tears in my eyes or wow, it's so nice to hear of something good happening. I just want to give everybody hope out there that if we focus on the good we're gonna find the good and her boys are living proof of that all you kids out there just be respectful to old people and young people the more you help out the more your life will change like like what is happening with us here in billings kelsey boggs mtn news a large crowd is expected at a meeting tonight in Shepherd as the Department of Environmental Quality hears public comment over the proposed construction of a controversial recycling landfill. Pacific Steel and Recycling wants to bury crushed cars and ho household appliances on an empty plot of land near the community. Many have expressed concerns about the potential health impacts caused by water and air quality, and they also worry about noise and the effects it could have on property values. However, others argue it could be a great asset to store materials for use at a later date. The landfill would be located six miles west of Shepherd. That meeting starts at 6 p.m. in the Shepherd High School Gymnasium with comments taking place after a presentation, and we will have the latest on this story tonight at 10. Check out the Stockton Bank weather cam after we had another comfortable day today. Temperatures 10 degrees warmer than average by the afternoon, even though we had a cool start. But the big story, 
was likely the wind. Gusts to 41 miles per hour recorded at the Billings Airport today. Statewide temperatures were in the 40s in western Montana. The warmest readings, no big surprise this time of the year. The wind prone areas down the east slopes of the Rockies where we saw a lot of readings into the mid 50s. 57 up in Cutbank, 53 for you in Miles City, 62 in Sheridan. You were enjoying those temperatures today, but we also had the wind in the mix down the east mountain slopes. I mentioned Billings winds around uh, Livingston and Big Timber also gusting up to over 40 miles per hour. Forecast details are coming up. With Christmas right around the corner, many are heading home for the holidays. That means you'll need plenty of luggage. And in tonight's Montana Made, Charlie Kleps takes us to the Red Ox, a veteran-owned company specializing in handcrafted soft-sided luggage and bags. For nearly 40 years, Red Ox has been a staple here in Billings. It first began as a weightlifting equipment store and quickly turned into making quality bags like this one. Everything you see is made here in this workshop, and that's a big reason why it's turned into a global brand. The Red Ox workshop in Billings looks and sounds a little bit like Santa's workshop. We've started building more travel gear, bags, gun cases, but instead of toys, their factory produces high-quality luggage bags, something they've been doing for a long time. We're now a global brand. I mean, we go direct to consumer all over the planet, thanks to the Internet. Their bags may be globally known now, but it wasn't always that way. When Red Ox was first founded by current CEO Jim Markle's father, their product was completely different. Red Ox was founded by my father to make fitness equipment. So we built things like lifting straps, weight training belts. That was in the late 80s, and as the demand died for their fitness equipment, Markle's son took over the business with a new idea in mind. About that time, we were I was getting really into the outdoors, and so making my own gear was kind of natural. And we started with ourselves and our family and our friends, and we made things. Usually, I'd build something for myself. Uh, Jim would see it. Next thing you know, it's in our line. Markle and his business partner Perry Jones started making different products, typically replacing things they needed in their own lives. Jones still recalls the first item Markle made. And I think it was a gun case because he bought a brand new gun case. We'd gone hunting and the handle came off and that torched him. So at the beginning of Red Ox, it was somebody needed something, you built it. And fortunately, making something was what the team was used to. All three of us were parachute breakers, my father, myself, and Perry. And so between the three of us, we could make almost anything. Getting out of the service, doing this kind of stuff, it was what I did in the service. An adjustment to life after the military that's now turned into a booming business. Dad started uh, the first step of the, of the process building fitness equipment and then we just pivoted to something else and so and we who knows another generation may pivot this business to something else but it's a long and winding road a long winding road that started and will always remain in Montana it was a good decision on my part to come to Montana it gave me direction in billing Charlie Kleps, MTN News. Be sure to tune in this Thanksgiving, not only for this story, but many others like it. It's all part of our Montana Made Christmas special. It'll air this Thursday at 6 p.m. right here on Q2, or you can always stream it for free on our Q2 streaming app. A longtime Thanksgiving tradition taking place across Billings today. We are talking about Vets Giving as Warrior Wishes hands out Thanksgiving meals to hundreds of veterans in need. And it's an annual event that will soon be in the hands of the next generation. MTN's Marcus Kakova has tonight's Positively Montana story. This VFW here behind me is just one of six locations that is hosting Vets Giving, an event that this year is feeding up to 800 Montana veterans. Volunteers and veterans alike shared with me what this act of gratitude means to them ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. Thank you guys for doing this. No, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate your service. Thanksgiving is a reason for reflection. Time to look back on the year and celebrate the hardships that you've made it through. These Montana veterans say they're full of gratitude this year. I appreciate it because when we came back, we weren't appreciated. When we came back from Vietnam, we weren't appreciated at all. Baby killers and you know. And that gratitude comes from an act of thanks for service. Yeah, there is nothing better in the world than serving those that have served. In the form 
of a meal. We have turkey, gravy, stuffing, potatoes, cranberries. But our local veterans aren't just grateful for the warm meals. It, holiday season is probably a little bit tougher on military families and veterans who, who may not uh, have that close family relationships or maybe they're spending the time alone. They all want to just have a conversation. That's probably the yeah. biggest thing. People, you know, get locked up in their house and, you know, don't get out very often or, or don't have the confidence to, to talk to others. This is all a part of Warrior Wishes Montana's effort to build a veteran community and support system. They're taking away those, those moments of desperation and uh, that rock bottom. There's someone there to kind of help them out of that. VFW Post Commander Jerry Hudson says it doesn't take an army or even a lot to help our veterans all year round. And if you feel like helping a veteran, thank them, but also give a handout. Maybe maybe they need a ride somewhere. Maybe they need some gas money. Maybe they need food money. Help us out and help a veteran. Well, on behalf of everybody in Q2, thank you for your service. You're sure welcome. We appreciate it. Thank you very much. Still to come on the MTN 530 News on Q2, putting words into action. One Billings High School student looking to put an end to school violence will show you how she's doing it next and in sports warriors become kings fairview is once again on top of the eight-man football world we'll hear from them coming up in just a bit